HIV infection is one of the serious life-threatening health concerns worldwide. Consequently, many people lose their lives if they do not diagnose and treat it promptly. There are three stages of HIV. Acute HIV infection, chronic HIV infection, and AIDS. The different stages of HIV infection determine the risk of infecting other people and your life as well. Today, we are going to highlight some of the early signs of HIV infection. It is a good idea to go for a checkup and seek medical attention early enough which come with confidential counseling. Even if there is no total cure for the infection, you will get medicine that can prevent the virus from growing into AIDS. Here are the 10 early warning signs of HIV infection. These early HIV infection signs occur between the first and the second month of infection. However, some people develop them as early as two weeks. After some time, the signs disappear, just like the mild flu. However, the virus continues to thrive. That is why you need to go for a checkup as soon as you notice the signs. Number 10. Headache. We know that headache can be caused by many different things. But you know when to expect it, since you know your daily activities, how relaxed or depressed you have been all the while. If you usually have a prolonged headache for some time, this might not worry you. You might only be concerned about a headache if it happens within a few weeks after you were exposed to the virus. Number 9. Growing Tired and Fatigue. When the virus gets into your bloodstream, it will immediately start to multiply. The body will also realize that there is a new and welcome antigen and will begin producing antibodies to fight back. In the process, there is a battlefield and your cells need so much energy to fight. At the same time, the virus is sucking energy from your T cells and replicating. The process leads to the weakening of the body and fatigue. You will start failing to accomplish your tasks. Number 8. Fever. It is one of the most common symptoms of HIV infection. Fever can come in different types, from mild to serious. HIV-related fever tends to be persistent or at times recurrent. You might treat it but again it comes after some short time. In most cases, it is accompanied by the other primary symptoms of HIV infection. Number 7. Rashes. Skin infections that occur abruptly after you are exposed to a suspicious HIV infection cause could hint that you are a victim of the same. However, this will only be likely if you have not been experiencing the rash problem and there was no logical cause you can think of. Rashes could also depend on the cause of the infection. Number 6. Diarrhea. The doctors have observed that diarrhea is the major complication that accompanies HIV infection. Diarrhea can cause loss of body fluids and more complications. You need to see your doctor immediately and get a good diet. You should verify the cause within the shortest time possible. Number 5. Night Sweats. Sweating and fever are different things. HIV-related sweating usually occurs at night. During the day everything is right. The sweating does not have to be related to fever or any other known illness. The environment might also be something to consider. If you are suspicious, you need to seek the attention of a doctor for HIV testing. Number 4. Swollen Lymph Nodes. The lymph is the major component of the blood that carries the white blood cells. The lymph nodes are the urminals where cleansing and refreshing of the system takes place. When you are infected with HIV and the body detects, it is made to begin producing antibodies that could attack and fight the virus. So much takes place as many cells are destroyed and the such. This burdens the lymph nodes making them swell. Number 3. A Sore Throat just like any flu infection, you may experience a problem with your throat. It will be feeling sour during your initial stages of infection. However, you cannot rule out that it is HIV. You need to see your physician for a checkup. Number 2. Muscle and Joint Pain. HIV infection usually causes inflammation. 
This is as a result of the body cells trying to fight the virus. The end of the process is a pain in the joints as well as the muscles. Pain might be caused by other factors like how you work or exercise. You need to see a doctor for clarification. Number 1. Mouth Ulcers A third of the HIV infections cause mouth ulcers. This is due to the weakened immune system. The mouth ulcers are quite disturbing and may hinder you from eating properly. The HIV-related mouth ulcers are also really difficult to treat. While there is no cure for HIV, there are very effective treatments that enable most people with the virus to live a long and healthy life. Once treatment is started, you'll probably need to take medication for the rest of your life. For the treatment to be continuously effective, it needs to be taken regularly at the same time every day. Missing even a few doses increases the risk of your treatment not working and developing resistance to your HIV medicines. You'll need to develop a daily routine to fit your treatment plan around your lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more informative stuff.